Hello everyone. Welcome back to chapter 10 exercise series of our managerial accounting course ACCT 428. In this video we're going to be looking at exercise 10-5A. So let's read the exercise together. It says Monterey company is considering investing in two new vans that are expected to generate combined cash inflows of $30,000 per year. The van's combined purchase price is $93,000. The expected life and salvage value of each are four years and $23,000 respectively. Monterey has an average cost of capital of 7%. So what's required? Calculate the net present value of the investment opportunity. Okay. Now, in order to do that, let's first, as always, whenever you have an annuity, I recommend that you sketch a timeline. So let's do that. Uh, of course, the expected life here is four years. So we're going to assume that's going to be the lifetime of the investment. So I'm going to sketch a timeline of a duration of four years. So this is the present time. This is year one, year two, year three, and then year four. Okay. Now to visualize this, what's the cash inflow that is expected each year? It's $30,000 per year, right? So here on top, I'm just going to write $30,000 at the end of year one, another $30,000 at the end of year two, year three, and year four. Okay. Another thing that we should expect is that based on the question, it says a salvage value of $23,000. So there is another amount that we should expect at the end of the lifetime of the um, investment, which is the cash inflow that we expect in exchange of selling those two vans at the end of the fourth year. Okay, so that would be $23,000. Right? We do also have the cash outflow right here, which is the combined purchase price of the two vans of $93,000. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna write, let's put it in red, $93,000. That would be paid at the beginning uh, of this timeline, all right? So in order to uh, calculate the present value, notice that we have two parts here. We do have a specific fixed cash inflow that is expected to be received at the end of each year. So we can calculate this using the annuity calculation. And then we also have another single amount that would be received after four years. Okay, so we're going to split this calculation into two parts. First part is going to be the calculation of the annuity. So present value of annuity should equal the payment or PMT multiplied by the present va value interest factor of annuity of four years at the rate of 7%. Okay, so let's substitute here. The payment is $30,000 multiplied by, let's find the interest factor of annuity from table two for four years at 7%, four years, 7%, that is going to be 3.387, let me just write it on my calculator, 3.387, 211. OK. 
Okay. We'll write it down here. 3.387211. Okay. Multiplied by thirty thousand dollars. That's one hundred and one thousand six hundred and sixteen point thirty three. The question is asking us to round our figures to two decimal points, so I'm just write it gonna write it as it is on my calculator, so point thirty three cents. All right, and then the second part is for this amount right here, the single amount that should be expected at the end uh, due to the salvage value, uh, sale price, expected sale price. So here we're going to write present value is going to equal the future value divided by, or sorry, we're using the table, so I'm going to just multiply by the present value interest factor. For what? For n equals 4, of course, because it's 4 years, and the same discount rate, which is 7%. Okay? Substituting in the formula, the future value amount is $23,000. Multiplied by, let's go to the table 1 and find the factor right here for seven percent four years and it's going to be 0 0.762895 so i'm going to write it uh, write this down here 0 0.762895 okay I already have it on my calculator, so I'm just going to multiply by 23,000. And that will give me, <coughs> excuse me, um, that will give me uh, 17,546 points, uh, 585, so I'm just going to round it up to 59. Okay. Now, we need to also notice one thing in the wording here, which is kind of tricky, but you need to pay attention uh, when you read the question. It says the expected life and salvage value of each are four years and 23,000. Okay? So here you are in between two things. You either multiply this by two and then discount it, or discount for one van and then multiply that your outcome or your your result by two okay because this represents the present value of the salvage value uh, that is expected to be received for one van but the question is talking about or the investment is going to be for two vans right so either way this result should be doubled okay you either double your inputs here or double your final answer or your present value. Okay? So I'm just going to write a note here for you to understand, hopefully, for each van. So the present value is going to be multiplied by 2. So I'm going to take this present value for uh, salvage amount of the two vans this is going to equal I already have the amount on my calculator so I'm just going to multiply by 2 okay and that's going to be 35,093 and 17 cents okay now that I have both present values the present value of the annuity or the regular cash flows that are 
going to be generated by this investment. And I have the present value of the salvage value of selling those two vans. I can calculate the total present value. Okay, so I'm going to say total present value is going to equal I already have the $35,093.17 uh, uh, in my calculator, so I'm just going to add the present value of annuity, which is 101,616.33. So the total present value is 136,709.50. Uh, Now remember the the question was actually or the part A is actually asking us to calculate the net present value of the investment. So to calculate the net present value we need the present value which we already calculated. Now we also need to subtract the cost of the vans, okay? So I'm going to write down here cost of vans or the cost of the investments whatever uh, way that you might want to word it, which was given to us in the question to be $93,000. So $93,000. Okay. I'll crunch the numbers, $93,000. So that means the net present value will equal forty three thousand seven hundred and nine and fifty cents okay this is the net present value based on the inputs that we were given okay and that would be the answer to part a now let's go back and see part B. It says indicate whether the investment opportunity is expected to earn a return that is above or below the cost of capital and whether it should be accepted. Uh, and the cost of capital was given to us in the question right here to be 7%, right? Which was the same figure, of course, we used for our um, for finding the uh, interest factors. Uh, however, we can figure out that, or we can confirm that the, um, the return that is going to be generated by this investment is higher than 7%, simply due to the fact that the net present value in our calculation in A is a positive number. Okay? Since the net pres present uh, value is positive, that means for certain, uh, for certain, uh, or that means that certainly the um, interest rate or the return on this investment is going to be higher than the seven percent, or than the rate, generally speaking, that we used in our discounting. Okay, so we can just simply put this in words. We could say something like. Since the net present value Taban net present value is shortened as NPV if you want. You don't have to write net present value. Okay, so since the net present value is positive. That means the investment is expected to earn a rate of return that is greater than 
the costs of capital, which was 7%. Okay? One more thing that we one more thing that we could add is that the analysis suggests that the investment opportunity should be accepted why should it be accepted because based on our calculations it is expected to generate a net present value okay so meaning that the present value of the expected cash flows or cash inflows that uh, will be generated by the investments are greater than the cost of that investment okay all right so that is how you solve a similar question i hope that you found this video useful um, this was exercise 10-5a <clears throat> just to quickly recap of course you don't have to do it this way you don't have to draw a timeline like i have done here but as you can see especially when there is a complex structure to the investment like in this scenario so we have a mix of a an annuity right here and we do have a cash inflow that is expected at the end of the expected life of the investment we do have a costs <coughs> excuse me so organizing all of this information on a timeline makes your life a lot easier and then you can uh, after you do your timeline and visualize the scenario, then you can uh, run the numbers and see uh, if this kind of investment is worthwhile or not. Okay? Hope that you um, found this video useful. If you have any questions, uh, don't forget to drop them down in the comments, and I'll, I'll try to answer um, your questions as I read them. All right? Until I see you in the next exercise tutorial, take care.